Hey guys, Django here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the German Focke-Wulf 190 A5 U12 at 4.7 better rating in the line. This is another one of the fantastic Antons. Fantastic, the 109s. I love them. In this version, the main thing is to gun pot or not to gun pot. The gun pots are a main feature of this thing. It, further, it has no other secondary weapons, no bombs, no nothing. Just these gun pot options. And uh, they provide you with some extra firepower. Four extra MG-151s with 125 rounds per gun if you put them on. But the loss in performance stands on the other side. Now, empty, so without the gun pots, this plane is better than the A5. It is about 10 to 15 kilometers an hour faster and it has better for performance in the acceleration and in the climb rate. And, um, but of course with the gun pods you lose that and you're actually 20 kilometers an hour slower than the A5 which is already not a fast plane. So uh, yeah, your performance really suffers. But let's look at those speeds first. At sea level without web the maximum speed is 546 kilometers an hour and with web 565 at 4500 meters still go up to 477 without web and 487 with and at 6500 meters finally still go up to 461 kilometers an hour without web and 473 with web now those speeds are decent they are of course slower than for example the J26 which we reviewed the other day at 4.3 battle rating. The Mustangs, they are faster at pretty much any altitude and a good bit to about 20 kilometers an hour faster. If you take the gun pods on this thing, this thing will be 50 kilometers an hour slower on every altitude in a straight line and the performance will even suffer more. The performance in the, in the P-51s, for example, are much better than in this one. Um, but still, this thing has good performance without the gun pods. If you lose the gun pods, you go down a good bit again. So without the gun pods in performance, you cannot really compete uh, with, for example, the P-51s. But also P-47s and other planes like that are going to be difficult. Corsairs are even going to be difficult with gun pods. Um, so, so the top speed in a dive is also quite competitive, by the way. Empty, it goes really, uh, really fast in a dive. 866 before she red lines. That red line is better than the Mustang and also, for example, the Corsairs at 5.7 battle rating. This thing has a higher red line. Uh, it also doesn't really rip before 900 kilometers an hour and it is a pain to get to 900 kilometers an hour. You have to dive from 10 kilometers up and then maybe you will get above 900 kilometers an hour if you're lucky <laughs> if you use the right angle of dive uh, i couldn't rip her i crashed into the ground at 900 and a second time at 910 and uh, that's about it so uh, it's very difficult to rip this plane control stiffening supports that as well the first little tick sits at around six, uh, 500 kilometers an hour and the second tick sits between 600 and 650 kilometers an hour where you lose uh, maneuverability in the roll rate especially, especially noticeable there but of course you start with excellent roll rate in the Focke Wolf 190s so um, you go down to something like decent and other planes go down to bad so this plane stays very functional in, a, in the high end dive and it can still get guns on target sometimes although it is difficult when planes start to turn because the elevator control on this plane, of course, like all the 190s, the Antons, they, and also the Doras, by the way, the Doras may be even worse uh, than these, but uh, the elevator control on the Doras is not fantastic either. So the turn time the, and the, the control on the elevator in a dive is also not fabulous. You can still pull out of a dive, but to get guns on target on a better turning plane, if he doesn't rip his wings in that, uh, in that pool, uh, you will uh, have difficulties following. Uh, the stall speed in the plane is 160. That is slightly uh, above average to average. It's it's nothing uh, fantastic. Firepower, the firepower in the plane is of course very good. <coughs> with two 20mm MG 151 cannons with 250 rounds per gun. 
The option of the gun pod with the four 20mm MG 151s with 125 rounds per gun <coughs> and then also you still have the two 7.92mm MG 171 machine guns with 900 rounds per gun. So that armament is in order with or without gun pods. Uh, with a gun pods it is a good to very good and with the gun uh, without the gun pods sorry and with the gun pods it's excellent because you evaporate planes in a heartbeat then. Um, and uh, the ammo load is uh, is excellent as well. Except on the gun pods. The ammo load there is um, well, maybe good. <laughs> a little bit below good, maybe even decent. Anyway, uh, the gun pods do not have that much ammo. <coughs> so for a limited amount of time, um, you have uh, excellent firepower. But 125 rounds, I mean, they do last to an extent. Maybe I'm contradicting myself a little bit, but uh, you have to be really tricker uh, patient to not run out of those rounds fairly quickly. A few good bursts and you're almost out of uh, out of the gun pods. And then you're left with the standard ammunition and you still have the gun pods on and you'll lose that performance still. So there is that. The acceleration in a straight line in this plane, slightly better than in the A5 itself. Good in a straight line, very good in a dive, where that was decent to good in um, in the A5. The energy retention is the same. In the horizontal it's great and in the vertical is good. Climb rate is also a little better. Average to above average uh, on this plane, where it was uh, slightly worse on the A5. The turn time in the plane is above average and decent with flaps. And the flaps also only rip off at 750 kilometers an hour. So you can deploy them even in a large part of the dive, those flaps. And that makes this plane really ideally suited for boom and zooming as all the Focke Wolf 190s are of course. These are boom and zoom aircraft that can energy fight a little bit. And uh, you might, uh, with the roll rate and the, uh, the initial few turns, get uh, some results on, uh, on enemy planes that go too fast and that compress in your neighborhood. But you really, this really is not a turn fighter and you should definitely not rely on that. Uh, it is a boom and zoomer first and then a, a whole while nothing and then energy fighting. A little bit, it's not excellent in that, but uh, if you are very careful you can do that. Definitely not a turner. The roll rate in the plane, as I said, is excellent and the overall maneuverability does is good. The overheating in this plane is not an issue at all. It, it barely overheats, you really have to use web a very, very long time before you get any yellow or amber, so that is a, a very good thing. Durability in the plane is also good, it can definitely take a hit or two. So, should you take those gun pods? I personally would say no. Uh, I, in general, I would say on the 109s as well, no. I am more, uh, I would go always for the, for the performance in the planes. Because that, are, that, that is really the lifesaver most of the time. You, you have to have that performance to compete. Uh, the Antons are not uh, specifically good at uh, many things except diving and, and the handling in a dive where it's great and the rolling and forcing overshoots this plane can do very well. But in other points uh, it is a bit lacking. Of course the firepower is also nice but does have things to work with but you are very limited to the boom and zoom roll. Um, and of course you'll have some people say that oh but Jengar if you fly it a lot, you can definitely make a turn a little bit here and there on certain speeds with the flap deployed and stuff like that. But I mean, that is for the expert pilots of this plane that fly super much in the uh, 190s and don't fly much else. They know the details of such planes. But for the average pilot, this is not true. And those little finesses that you learn after 200, 300 matches in a plane, you will not have that when you fly her out like that. <coughs> plane just also doesn't support it against another expert in a, in a Spitfire, for example. If you put equal pilots in a Spitfire and in a Fokker Wolf 190, the Spitfire will always outturn the Fokker Wolf. And the Fokker Wolf will always outroll the Spitfire. So, you know, there is, um, 
there are certain things that planes just can't do and this thing will never become a turn fighter in any circumstance it will never become a fast plane in any circumstance except in a dive in a straight line many planes can catch up to you and uh, get you <laughs> like the mustangs for example or the corsairs they are faster in a straight line than you and you will need to dive to get away from them now you can do that because this plane is faster in a dive but not that much faster so it's not a guaranteed escape or anything because corsairs thunderbolts mustangs they can all compete with you in the dive they are only tens of kilometers slower b before their red line and they have similar rip speed so it is not that much faster in the dive and uh, thus it is not a guaranteed escape so you gotta rely on your discipline you gotta rely on positioning you gotta rely on side climbing and um, you know good flying strict boom and zooming in this plane and patience patience to wait until you are in the superior position and then you start to work your way down and to uh, this Corsair here he made a huge mistake he comes out of a dive I roll away from him and I see him turning into me if he should have turned away from me so that he would extend now he turned away from me, closing the distance even more as I pulled into him and I could just place my my guns in the the line of his uh, of his escape and shoot him to smithereens with the MG 151s <sighs> but I mean that was not guaranteed he had the advantageous position he could have extended if he would have gone towards the other side I was turning to the left he should have extended to the right but he came to the left as well mistake big mistake there from that guy anyway you see an example of the sturdiness of the plane here as well uh, as the American premium 109 there got a good shot on my fuselage uh, really uh, heavy damage a crit on the uh, gear leg and on my mid fuselage and I was lucky that none of the control service uh, uh, control lines were hit there but um, yeah the plane is sturdy and as I said it can take a hit or two and uh, is, has a very very distinct uh, strong character to her when it comes to taking damage and uh, I really like that <coughs> in the 190s it's a good thing to have but uh, yeah sometimes as you see here this guy uh, by the way we talked a little bit during the match but uh, he was a guy that knows my channel and uh, he kept climbing <laughs> he kept climbing until he was sure he was above us and then if you have a boom and zooming uh, a p47 on your tail you are in for a patient game you can outroll him as i'm doing here for example you can absolutely do that but you have to keep an eye on him so that means that your camera work has to be on point and uh, but if you do that you can uh, you can definitely survive And you then have a chance often and in these circumstances to get a few shots in. You can miss them, those are not the easiest shots. But, uh, and the P47 totally outperforms you in the climb rate, in dive uh, performance sometimes as well. Although this thing can really outroll it, so there, there is that. You, you still have that control. But the firepower of the P47 is better, climb rate is better and uh, he can after he dips under you you can he can easily uh, if he's patient like this guy was extend again it's faster in a straight line and then climb again uh, in a shallow angle and uh, you will be uh, chasing him all the way very frustrating sometimes sometimes you gotta rely on your aim which you will see in a sec <coughs> he uh, my ally here uh, got some good shots in him but he is extending once again 900 meters away and we get a long range shot almost a kilometer away and um, our guns get him which is good which is also um, well you might call it a bit lucky on a p47 because those things are very sturdy but uh, very patient game in the in the 190 when you are in defensive mode you got a make sure that you can see the enemy plane use your excellent roll rate to your advantage and just make sure that he cannot get guns on target in that sense and when you are the boom and zoomer you got to be aware that many planes have better performance than you 
and are faster than you in a straight line so that you cannot extend you gotta keep your um, energy advantage and you gotta keep that by not being lured into any turns you gotta be disciplined you gotta stay strict <laughs> get back up climb back up and and wait uh, until you set up your next attack now sometimes that is difficult sometimes you gotta take risks but well that's the game in the 190 hey guys so here we are after the match now the answer to the main question for me is not to gunpot although i can understand if you would want to do it i mean um, you do get some extra shots in uh, the plane has more firepower than head-ons are more easy and if you have trouble with surviving things then having that extra little boost gives you maybe uh, during the grind as well but you still have to unlock the modification first so there is that um, but I would definitely not gun put on this plane uh, it takes away the uniqueness I know that but uh, I love the skins on this plane and I would just fly her sometimes to enjoy that and just use her in the standard um, A5 uh, setup what most 109, 190s have and that is two MG151s and two machine guns to support that and that is an excellent setup that is plenty of firepower to do the job and you will keep your performance you will keep the speed that you have and um, you will lose the sluggishness I mean this uh, most 190s are a little bit sluggish below 300 but with those gun pots this thing is absolutely terrible and you lose some of the excellence of the roll rate as well on this plane so yeah there is that it I mean those gun pots do make this plane unique I know you can try it out a few times and what you prefer but um, yeah I would fly it without absolutely guys I hope you enjoyed the video I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye bye if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button become part of this community if you are already a subscriber don't forget to like the video do leave me a comment and if you really feel like helping out today make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel